Manitoba Premier Greg Salinger gave his State of the Province address today and the news has people seeing red. An earlier budget forecast gave Manitobans hope that the federal books would be balanced by 2014, but that promise is no longer on the table. Nicole Dubay joins us live from Winnipeg and you were there, you heard from the Premier about the state of Manitoba. Yes, a lot of people in the, in the room at the Winnipeg Convention Centre heard a lot of great things about the state of Manitoba, but what the Premier didn't say in his address uh, is what he did tell reporters off to the side afterwards in a scrum, and that is that while his NDP government is breaking an election promise, they will not be balancing the books by 2014-2015. In fact, they're going to take two years longer than that at minimum, and they're looking to now balance the books by 2016, the 2017 fiscal year. Here's what Premier Selinger had to say. We've seen everybody uh, modify their dates to take into account the new reality out there. The most important thing to do is have a balanced approach that grows your economy and opportunities for uh, young people, looks after health care, but shrinks the revenue between your expenditure and uh, exp expenditure and revenues, shrinks that gap every single year going forward and make continuous progress. That'll be the best way for us to all come out of this. Now, the Premier wouldn't unveil any further details about the government's plan to get to that target that's expected to maybe be rolled out next week when there's a new financial report. He also wouldn't confirm what the deficit currently stands at. At last report back in spring, it was about near a half billion dollars. The other question involved in this is whether or not taxes will be raised. Well, we know that the taxes already have been raised. Manitoba went through the biggest tax hike in 25 years uh, when the budget came down last spring. That included everything from increasing the PST to the cost of just gas, cigarettes, even haircuts are costing more. So we're hoping to get more information, uh, possibly as early as next week, on where the current financial state of the province is, Karen. Yeah, it's certainly starting to sound like a uh, theme across the country, uh, maybe outside Saskatchewan anyway. Uh, while we're on the topic, though, of financial management, bit of a side story here, but the opposition leader also under scrutiny, but this is for his own personal spending. Yes, this is something I did want to bring up because we, we have two leaders here in Manitoba. We have obviously the governing NDP Premier, Greg Selinger, but then we have the Tory opposition leader, Brian Pallister. On one hand, the governing Premier has obviously, you know, what he had just admitted today is a bit of a financial issue at hand here and trying to balance the, the books. But on the other hand, we have uh, Tory leader Brian Pallister who came under fire this week, or at least under some scrutiny, for purchasing a $2 million home. And he found himself uh, getting a bit emotional having to defend that purchase. Here's what Brian Pallister had to say about that. Unfortunately, we don't have that clip ready for you, Karen, but essentially he said that his family and him and his wife have worked for 60 years. They've worked very hard uh, to get where they're at, and they're not going to apologize for a purchase that they feel very proud of and that they're investing here in Manitoba. The house, obviously, is on a very prestigious street. It's uh, Wellington Crescent here in Winnipeg. Uh, so he did have to, have to defend that, but on one hand, it is a Manitoba success story. Where the scrutiny lies, though, is kind of what we're all seeing here. Yes, it's great that he was able to do that, but it will make his job uh, appealing to your average Manitoban a little bit more difficult. Stand by, Nicole. We've actually got that clip queued up. We're going to listen to Brian Pallister. We worked 60 years, my wife and I. We're savers. We live frugally and reasonably for many, many years. And now we have an opportunity to invest, and we've chosen to invest in Manitoba. And we're proud of that choice. So we could see him being a little bit emotional mm -hmm. there, Karen, and understandably so. This is a, a very personal thing that he did for his family. Should it really matter how he's spending his hard-earned money? And he's doing that here in the province. So it, it's one of those things. Instead of being, you know, commended for doing something that he's proud of, he's actually having to defend himself for it. All right, Nicole Dubay reporting live from Winnipeg. Thanks, Nicole. You're welcome.